YouTube blog, day number 12. Well, it's been 12 days since I started out this YouTube channel. It's not very long. And as expected, there's basically zero traffic, 84 views. And most of that's just me tinkering around with the layouts and the formatting and the end screen links. Uh, regarding this YouTube blogs, I thought it'd be humorous, model it after Star Trek, Captain's Log, Stardate 2162.3. <laughs> but anyway, the real thoughts behind the log is to start capturing the ideas, the feelings, etc. thoughts that the channel has as it starts out because it's going to be small, it's going to suck, and it's going to stay that way for a while. It'll be 10 plus months until I generate enough interrelated content on playlists to be worth anyone's time. Onesie, twosie here or there, people may come and look at, but there's no real value until later when I generate a bunch of content that I'm planning on that's all interrelated into playlists that roll up into a course that's actually usable. And that'll take a lot of time to get there. Uh, plus, I'm probably blind to the layout and the effectiveness of my videos. I have to get them out there, get feedback, look at others, and learn. So right down the beginning, it's all going to suck, and I'm going to capture it from time to time in these logs. So let's get to it. 84 views, 12 days, slow, it's to be expected, most of that's me. 3.8 hours of watch time, it's because my videos are long. They're 10 to 30 minutes on average, so if one person watches one, that's 30 minutes. So it doesn't mean much, it's nice, but whatever. Subscribers, I know who it is, <laughs> it's my sister. So that's nice, but it doesn't mean anything. Um, from what I've read online, it'll be a year to year and a half before any meaningful traffic comes. I have to get lots of content, have it interrelated, and have people like one or two or three, and then click through to other ones. So, in it for the long haul. Uh, why am I doing it? For money? No, not at all. It's to establish a portfolio, something I can incrementally add to career-wise going forward forever. In the spirit of you get to learn as I get to learn, we're going to walk through the YouTube analytics. They're pretty neat. We looked at the overview tab earlier. Now we're going to go to the reach tab, day number 12. There's impressions. I don't understand those yet. Need to go research them. There's impression click-through rate. Don't understand that. Probably doesn't mean anything when the sample size is 84 views and it's mostly me tinkering around. So over time, I'll better learn those. Somewhere I saw 2 to 10% is what you should expect. 10% is great. 2% on the lower end. I have no idea what it means. So we'll just watch and learn. And 13 unique viewers. And now we're moving on to the engagement tab. Yeah, there's 3.8 hours, but that's garbage data. At least an hour of that was me watching my own videos, letting them play out and checking some things. Uh, twice, two, 30, a 30 minute video two different times. And the average view duration, two minutes, 41 seconds, doesn't mean anything yet. If I watch two of them for almost 30 minutes, that's going to inflate the numbers one way, garbage wise. And on the other side, there's a whole bunch of times in those 84 views where I was clicking on stuff, watching the video for one or two seconds, and then closing it. So. Garbage data doesn't mean anything right now. And finally, the audience tab. Looking at that from the YouTube analytics. 13 viewers saw that earlier. This is interesting, six and a half views average per viewer, but again, garbage. It's artificially high. It's me viewing my own stuff while I'm tinkering around. And then the subscriber. So I thought this would be fun. Where does the time go? No one else is going to do this, but I enjoy doing this. I've done it for 20 plus years. I figured for at work and various projects, I figured I'd track it here on YouTube too, right from day one. So where does the time go? Uh, four videos, 67 total hours in the past 12 days after work, after the regular 40, 41, 42 are done. 48 of the hours are spent on videos, 19 hours is overhead. Video one through four, 48 hours, 19 is all this stuff, it's just overhead setting up YouTube. I haven't done GitHub yet. That'll come later. Figuring out best practices. There's so much training and learning I need to do. I, it's going to be in the hundreds of hours. But got to get started somewhere. And it's going to be interesting to track. I wonder how many hundreds of hours in I'll be before I'll start getting, I, I have no idea, a thousand views, 2,000 views. Part of it's time and waiting, but whatever. I'll just watch and learn. But I do want to get all the content out, so that's where my focus is now, getting content out, learning, and, I'm, and watching the time. And it's in the beginning, it's front-loading. It's going to seem like a huge waste of time. We'll see in some subsequent metrics here. But I still think it's going to be worth it. won't make any money, but it will help having a portfolio, and it will help for some other stuff. And Eventually, 
there's a whole bunch of uh, researchy type of stuff I want to do too. So if you work all the numbers out, per one minute of content creation so far in the first four videos that I've done, there's 37 and a half minutes creating the video, scripting it out, researching it in the beginning, shooting it, editing it, cobbling it together, tossing the music track on, uploading it to YouTube, figuring out all the ways to splice the chapters. There's just a lot of stuff. And I'm slow. I suck at it right now. I'll get better. And there's 15 minutes of overhead setting up the YouTube channel, learning, etc. My teenage daughter looked at my thumbnails. Dad, those suck. I was like, what? No, they don't. Then I looked, looked at some other YouTube thumbnails, did some research online. Oh, yep, she was right. They suck. So I had to go change them. And I, and I know the pictures, pixelated and granular. It's a cartoony character. It sucks. But I'm leaving it for a while. At some point, I'll go do a nice Photoshop one. But for now, I'm going to leave the bitmappy ugly one. So in total, 52 and a half minutes per one minute of content creation. So for every one minute of video, I shoot 52 and a half minutes total effort. That'll get better. Uh, years ago, 2002, three, something like that, I replaced three toilets in a house. And I knew the first one was gonna suck. It took like three plus hours, because I had to sit there and uh, by replace, I mean rip it out all the way down the wax ring and then replace everything, including the flush kit in the back. So I had to go read all the manuals and figure it all out. The first toilet was slow three, four hours, I don't remember what it was. And the second toilet I knew would be quicker. Oh, and I did the first one at my sister-in-law's house. <laughs> I got to practice there. And then the other two were at our house. And so it got faster and faster. And the third toilet, late in the day, was just like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, because I didn't need to read the instructions or anything. It was all fresh off the top of my head. So same thing will happen here. Everything in tech is like a factor of 20 to one. When you're new at something, it's slow. And then as you get to repeat it, you get faster and faster and faster. It's interesting, 20, 25 years ago, there wasn't as much new stuff coming at you, so you could get fast and repeat stuff. I remember VB3, I remember the VB Programmer's Journal. I remember reading every one of those and knowing, I don't know, 40, 50, 60% of the language. You can't even come close to that nowadays. There's so much stuff out there. It's hard to keep up with even the amount that you need keep up to the point that you're efficient. So you're always looking and learning and Googling and anyway. But in this case with YouTube, it's gonna get faster. And I'll track that time. Uh, the details here, each of the videos, according to YouTube, 29 minutes, 15 seconds, seven minutes, three seconds. So I tabulated the time, converted them to minutes, 77.1 total minutes. And I know I put in 48 hours because I track in 15 minute increments the effort so I can run all the math, 48 hours total effort divided by 77 minutes equals 37.4 minutes of effort to do the video content. The overhead, LinkedIn article, set up learning, setting up the YouTube, all that stuff, 13, almost 14 hours. And then I learn stuff and it's like, oh crap, my video sucks. I already spent three and a half hours revising things and there'll be more I'll learn. And I don't reshoot the video, but the thumbnails or putting chapters on. There's just so much to learn. So this task will keep growing. But 19 hours of overhead divided by the same 77 minutes, about 15 minutes of overhead per minute of video content. That'll go way down, but it's going to stay high for a while. Anyway, it's interesting. I'm going to watch these over time. So that's a lot of time, and I don't expect any return on that for a year or more. I don't expect many views for a long time. So is five, 600 plus hours before getting any viewers a fool's errand? Am I gonna be wasting a lot of time? Well, we'll see, and I'll be watching it closely. The hope is that if content that I'm planning on doing is good, then I should get viewers. Right now, I just tossed together some preliminary stuff that I know I'm gonna use at my work and in the future, so I'm putting effort and learning on those. But the good content comes later. I wanna do a bunch of tiers of SQL training, starting off with basic stuff and working out into more and more complex stuff and getting into heuristics and testing. And that'll take a long time to prepare all that and research it and combine it with stuff I've done in the past. And nobody's gonna wanna see little bits and pieces. I kinda have to wait for it all to come playlist by playlist. So we'll see. Uh, it's gonna take a while. And like anything, you have to have a big, long upfront push before stuff pans out. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe below.